Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. I'm that single mom, Charlene Lizette. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to create your own invoice from the comfort of my own bed. And I'm gonna be teaching you how to do it for free because I think that it is so important to support each other as entrepreneurs. I love creating everything that I present to clients, obviously on brand with who I am. And so I wanted to share the way that I'm creating my invoice with you guys. So a couple of things about me. I am an actor, I am a content creator on social media, and I also manage somebody's social media as well. And so therefore I am creating invoices all the time. I always want to have something that is easy to edit, always on brand, and not something that's gonna take me a lot of time to do. And so I wanted to share this with you guys in hopes of helping you out. To start off, one of the cool things about Canva is that you can create so many things through Canva for free. All you need is your logo and your brand colors and to know what you're trying to create. So in this case, we're creating an invoice. So on the top left hand right here, I'm just gonna type invoice and oops, in templates. Make sure you go to templates first, invoice. And then you can see that there are so many invoice styles to choose from. So you can literally search until you find one that you love and that you feel fits your aesthetic and go from there. So for example, let's just say I really love, I don't know, this one, but I don't love that little background behind where it says Jenna McKenzie. So maybe you go ahead and imprint your own image in there or you can adjust the color. So there you go. Um, obviously would not do that and I don't love this invoice, but I just wanted to show you how quickly it is to just simply edit an invoice using Canva. In my case, this is the invoice that I started to work on and I'm just gonna walk you through the finishing touches on how I'm creating this invoice. So first thing I did was I went and uploaded my logo in a couple of different dimensions because I wanted to test it out. So I ended up loving this one. So literally after I uploaded it, all I'm doing is dragging and dropping and we're done. Like literally that's how easy it was. So then I went ahead and changed this using my favorite font, um, my brand colors and a size I wanted and in bold. I also don't really love how together this font is. So for example, here I am in the process of adding my heading. So one's gonna say item description, item, and I love to use all capitals. Let's get to item description. And then I'm gonna do quantity, quantity. And then what I'll probably do is just copy quantity and do price. And then I'll copy price and do total. Canva is so intuitive in that it remembers the fonts that you love best and therefore you don't have to constantly be searching for them. And I also love that it really helps you align your titles and headings and subheadings to make sure that they all look exactly like you want them to. So for example, I love this font and I'm gonna go ahead uh, and bold it up because in my opinion, this looks way better when it's bold but I don't want it that big in terms of font so there we go so now I know that I'm doing 16 for all of these um, and I'm literally just doing this while I'm talking to you and you know you could be watching a Netflix show so one of the things I will share with you about Canva that is probably the only thing that drives me nuts is being able to drag items up and like up to where you want them see how i'm struggling a little bit right now you basically have to go to the edge and find it bold total up okay so now i have this but as you can see i'm not aligned and i am a stickler for alignment in documentation and so the best thing to do in this situation is to drag your item over and see how Canva is actually helping you align your content that is on your page without me really having to do much work. So now everything looks exactly like I would want it. One of the things I'll probably change is obviously quantity and price are not as big a number as something in the item description would be. So I'm just going to go ahead and edit that just ever so slightly. I don't know what this thing is right here. I don't want it. A little garbage bin there at the top right hand. I can just quickly, oops, 
delete it. And see how it shows you delete element or delete group? I'm just gonna delete the whole group because I really don't want this. Here we are in all the little scripture or writing that was in the existing invoice. Obviously this is not in alignment with how I am doing mine. I'm doing item description first, then quantity, then price, and then total. Because I don't love this, what I'll just simply do is delete this box, not like that, by clicking this, and I'm gonna delete the whole group, not just the element. But the other thing that I want is I wanna separate my stuff and I wanna really incorporate more of my pink. So I'm actually gonna select this little line that I've created right here, uh, copy it, and actually bring it down, there we go, and almost create like a little, I don't know what you would call it, like a little frame for all my headings. See how that's starting to come together already? At the bottom here, I'm actually gonna increase this. I've been playing around with it a little bit already to get an idea of what I want it to look like, so that's why I'm working a little bit faster. You're obviously gonna have to take the time to work with it, decide what you want it to look like. So what I've done is, I've created two little boxes, and I'll tell you why. Because I want both of my colors to pop up in the footer of my invoice. So I'm gonna do a blue for one, and I'm gonna do the pink for the other. So there you go. And then remember how there was that text at the bottom? If you are ever struggling with text, you can actually either bring up the text and find it again. And then when you actually bring back the text, it'll show up on the top for you. Um, in my case, where did my text go? So I'm gonna position this all the way to the back. And to the back. There you go, see? And that's what I love about Canva, it's just literally so easy to create an invoice. So now my invoice is starting to look way more on brand with who I am. But I feel like I'm still missing something. So what I'm actually gonna do is create a couple more of these lines, just because I love them so much. And I'm gonna try and play now with these lines and see how Canva actually creates alignment lines for you so you can make sure that you're in alignment with the way that you're designing everything. So I might actually create these in blue. I like that, I think that looks really cute. So what I'll do is I'll just select it and guess what? Press the copy button a couple of times. In this case, I am only gonna have one item on my line list. So I don't need to create all these different lines right here. But if let's just say I had three or four items on there, I would obviously create the three or four lines. Um, so right now we have one, two, three lines in blue, a couple in pink. Important things you need to have in your invoice include a PO number, obviously, or an invoice number, the date of your invoice, who it's payable to. In my case, it's payable to me, Charlene Lizette, and then I'm gonna put my email address because I prefer um, either PayPal or email payments because like who does checks anyways. But no, take note that the pay to, payable to and my information is not the same font that I've used before. Whenever you're creating any document, you always wanna make sure that all your fonts all cohesive. So I'm actually changing this font to my good old Monstrat, yeah, that's what we're gonna call it, because I think I totally just butchered that. And I want it, um, again, bold. Notice that the white just you can't see it. It doesn't come through. So I'm gonna play around and see how it looks like in black. Ugh, I feel like it's a little bit too strong. Gray, just right. So there you go. Payable to and Charlene Lizette. I probably wouldn't keep a space in there. Charlene Lizette here tell me maybe I do. Again, another thing I don't love is the spacing. I'm simply gonna click the spacing on Canva and just slightly edit that. There you go. Now I'm aligning my payable to down here. So in this case, because I'm doing this video so late at night, I have had a huge brain fart and can't remember um, what the name is when you provide an invoice to someone. So what I'm actually just simply gonna do is click on another invoice on Canva and see payment to, okay, so who, bill to, there you go, you guys. Bill to is right there. So basically I'm just gonna scroll up here and do bill to bill to and then client name everything is looking nice and even I might even toy around with the idea of changing this to that gray because I don't know that I want it in black 
and I just don't love how the gray looks. So we're gonna X nay that and go back to black. So now we need to fill out our items. Okay, so the easiest way to do that is to head over to text here on the left hand side, click text, and you're gonna do add a subheading. Okay, so first and foremost, this is not in my font, and now I'm gonna go ahead and type this, okay? Social media consulting, consulting sales, but I wanna drag it. And so there you go. Now it is right where I want it, and if I don't like the alignment, I can actually change that just by using this little button. This little button will actually allow you to center it, right align or left align. And because I like these little boxes here, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick the quantity here and I'm gonna change it to one and just unbold and probably change it to 14. And then I'm gonna copy that one, paste, put in my price. There you go. So see how all the lines now are in alignment, which is exactly what we want because it makes your invoice look super professional. So I'm gonna put my price here, um, there you go. Obviously because my total matches my quantity, I'll literally just copy and paste. And so basically I've just created an invoice in, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, not even. Um, the subtotal I'll obviously change. In my case, I'll just quickly just change the font but obviously if you want to go crazy and do whatever it is that you want to do for your business like it's your business it's your design that's the amazing thing about being an entrepreneur is that you can literally create anything that you want there should be a little button that pops up here that will allow me to there it goes see so obviously this font that I've picked here is just way too big and so I'm gonna go back to black yep that looks perfect I'll maybe even have a line in there. I also love um, the fact that on Canva, if you click the spacing button, you can actually do letter spacing and you can also do spacing between the actual words. So see here, I'm actually bringing subtotal and total up higher um, together, closer together, um, but you can literally like make them super wide, whatever it is that you want. And the same with the letters, the spacing in between the letters. Okay, so you just gotta find what style works for you. So in my case, I'm doing this. I don't do HST here in Canada. And so I will, what is this little button, there it is. And so because I'm not putting any uh, taxes on here, I'll copy this and just put it at the bottom. If you were doing taxes, you would obviously have to manually input that. There's my subtotal, my total, my item description, what I'm doing, how much I'm doing, my date, my invoice, my logo, and all my information at the bottom, and my invoice is done. If you need to add notes, like so for example here, let's just say I need to add some notes. That little extra line that I created, because I don't have additional line items, I can actually just go here into a heading, notes. I'll probably go back to black and drag the notes box right here. All right, you guys, so now that I'm looking at my invoice and I'm playing around with it, testing it out, I'm realizing there's a couple things that I don't like. One, I'm not a big fan of this pink. I feel like it's not the pink that I used before. I do have a few different shades of pink that I use. Um, and so I've gone ahead and pulled up another pink and I feel like that one is actually far better suited to my aesthetic. The other thing that I've noticed too is I don't love all these pink lines and so I'm actually starting to swap them around. And that's the nice thing about Canva is like I'm literally in 20 minutes playing around, editing these lines and deciding how I want it to look. I'm also gonna change this gray to black. I tried it out here with the customer name and I much preferred how it looked in black. And so I just went ahead and did that. And basically in 20 minutes, I have created an invoice that I can now use time and time again because Canva actually saves the documents that you do. And so with a quick edit of the PO number, the date, and the items and costs in the description, I can have invoices sent out to my clients in no time. So why I love having 
uh, invoices that are in line with my brand. One, it makes me look super professional. Two, your clients are gonna love it. They're gonna be like, oh my God, this is so cute. And if they're not already doing it, you may even inspire them to do it themselves. Or if you're lucky, you may even get them to ask you to do a template yourself. And now you know how to do it for your clients. And it's free and takes 20 minutes, which is amazing. Um, and so now when I send over my invoices to my clients, I will always have a copy on hand to edit. My clients will always get these amazing invoices that will make them remember who I am. I'll look super professional. I'm always on brand and it just provides far more credibility to me as a social media consultant and sales consultant, as a content creator and as someone who works with brands and also as an actor. Guess what they're gonna remember? The really cool pretty invoice versus all the other black and white boring ones. So all you gotta do is just download this. They have tons of different ways that you can download these files. I always like doing PDF because it's just easy for everyone to read. You can print them yourself if you have a printer at home, but let's not waste paper. Let's save the environment and do everything electronically, which is what most companies do now anyways. So now I'm gonna go ahead and download and I have an invoice in 20 minutes all done to send to my clients. All right guys, so that's it for today. I hope you liked my tutorial on how to create a free invoice using Canva for all of you amazing creators out there. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Was this video easy to follow? Would love to hear your thoughts. Subscribe to my channel. Obviously, follow me on Instagram and on Facebook and I'll see you next time. All right guys, have a good day. Bye, peace out.